Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yokiman here, and the last update was a while ago, and I realised one of the updates had become corrupt, one of the files had become corrupt, which was really frustrating, but we're carrying on with our Crawley adventure in our road to the Hall of Fame, which is taking us one hell of a long time, but we, you know, we're trying to power through it. Uh, Doncaster game was the last one I told you about, there's going to be a lot to go through in this episode, which normally I wouldn't, but obviously I haven't got much of a choice now. Um... But we beat Blackpool 3-1. Um, I'm going to try and push through this as quick as possible. So you can see the goal scorers there down on the right hand side. You know, Have a quick look. I'll go over players who are performing well this season and whatnot towards the end of the episode. Uh, we drew against Bradford 2-2. Chesterfield was 3-0. Uh, another good victory. Walsall 2-2. And this began a dip in form, which is a little bit frustrating. And as you guys all know, whenever you get a dip in form, it's really fucking annoying. We lost to Colchester for one, which was it's a little bit of a dire result. Drew with Krug, 1-1. Um, lost 3-0 to Eastleigh. And, I mean, we shouldn't be losing to Eastleigh. And, and, and this was really frustrating. Um, when you get, you know, on FM, when you get on those runs, they can be so, so frustrating. Drew to Fleetwood, 0-0. Lost to Yeovil, 4-2. Coventry, 2-1. And then Carlisle, 1-1. And, and at this point, the table was not looking in our favour. I mean, we weren't doing... You know, terrible because of the start we'd had. We we held our own at the start of the season, and and it would it didn't mean that we was really terribly off in the table. But you know, um, not the start you want. We them um, beat MK Dons two one and beat Maidstone in the FA Cup three one. Um, not bad. Just trying to get some form back together. Millwall's always going to be a tough game. We lost two one to them. Um, but a player sent off never really helps you. Uh, we then beat him. Went and beat Preston 1-0 and I'm thinking, is this form just going to dip up and down and up and down? But no, we had a poor run again where we lost 4-3 to Peterborough in the league. Then 2-0 to them in the second round of the FA Cup. Lost, uh, drew 0-0 to Swindon and lost 1-0 to Tranmere. At this point, I was thinking, this is going to be a dire season after, you know, an OK season that we had last year. We was hoping to at least get playoffs this year and push on from where we are. As you guys know, the financial position here at Crawley is absolutely shocking. We beat Birmingham 4-3, which <laughs> made me a happy person. You know, Birmingham, not an easy game, and we're back in it. We then beat Gillingham 1-0, lost to Wolves 2-1. Sheffield United, lost. Uh, we lost to them 3-1, and... Again, the farm just up and down and up and down. But recently we've beaten Scunthorpe 2 0, Rochdale 2 0, and then Doncaster 2 1. I don't know if it's just against the better teams now in the league. We just really don't stand up as a team and we really can't perform well as a team. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's been pretty frustrating and having some computer issues. I haven't played the game as much as I'd like to. Um, obviously, but. You know, the table as it stands, we're not doing terrible, we're 8th, 42 points, which technically, apart from goal difference, we would be in a playoff position. Obviously Coventry have a game in hand, but we would be in a playoff position, so I'm still hoping there is hope this year that we will push for playoffs. Um, there's no guarantee on that, and as you can see there in the finances, our finances have, have taken a rail hit. I'm hoping they're going to improve again now. The, we did improve... A youth facility, so I, I think maybe that might have something to do with it, but there's no 100% guarantee that they're going to improve. I'm not spending anywhere near my wage budget, and there is still a little bit of transfer budget, so there's nothing really I can do from my point of view on that end. We did go and snap up Jordy Van Ryden um, on a contract. We wanted him in. We managed to get him in. He's played a lot of games for the club since he's come in, so you know we're really happy about getting him in. That's what we got here. Um, the team isn't terrible. There's some pretty decent players. I think transfer-wise, where is transfers? Did we do any business? You'll have seen all of this. Just Ryan Cote and, and Loftus Cheek came in. Obviously, he'd have been shown in the last update. But Ryan Cote from QPR looks like a promising youngster. He's more of just a filler in the squad in that defensive midfield role. And uh, Tom Rogic went out for 40k. Which, um, you know, happy days. We get him off the books. We couldn't, we couldn't play him. We couldn't get a work permit for him. So there was no point having him in the team. 
But Pereira again having a great season, but injuries have started to hinder him. And we, if I, I do feel, if we'd have had him for longer spells of the season, I mean, look at his average rating. We'd definitely be doing a lot better. Um, he's a great player to own because he's nearly his value is nearly a million. Um, his contract does expire next year, so I'm really gonna have to look at in the summer tying him down, getting him down somewhere, or we may have to sell him. Overall, we're not having a horrible season. Again, injuries now are starting to creep in. De Koning has come in and wasn't expecting to play much. Has come in and been my best striker with 12 goals. Um, the other two not really doing anything of no. Um, Nile Ranger has done pretty much next to nothing this year after having an okay season and Ravel the same so hopefully we're going to push on through there's not many fixtures left to go like I said we missed an update I think we missed two um, I think probably what we'll do is my next update maybe end of the season I may update before that and see how it's going on whether we get another job or anything like that but at the minute I'm trying I'm just trying to get back into this save because of having computer issues I haven't played much FM recently but hopefully we get back into it uh, but anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is the road to the Hall of Fame, and hopefully we start to get touch a little bit closer to Hag Cole, really, and, and getting in the Hall of Fame, but this is going to be extremely tough. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Take care.